So just like we had the comparable interface, we also have the clonable interface. Now, the clonable interface does not actually give us any sort of methods uh, to have to overwrite, but what it does give us access to is something known as the clone method. It makes our objects clonable. And the reason why is because you might remember if I, say for example, wanted to clone uh, my cat. If I came in here and said uh, cat Garfield equals new cat, and I wanted to explicitly uh, duplicate it. If I came in here and said cat Heathcliff equal Garfield. What's actually going on is now both of these things have the same memory address. That's a problem because if I make changes to uh, Heathcliff, guess what? They make changes to Garfield and that's not really how uh, the early 90s worked. So instead, what I'd want to do is I'd want to come in here and I would want to say uh, cat Garfield equals new cat again, simple as that. But when I make Heathcliff, when I want to make my copy of Garfield, what I'd actually come in here and do is I would come in here, same way, I'd declare it as normal, Heathcliff equals, but instead of just saying Garfield, I would say Garfield dot clone. Now what that does is it takes everything inside of the Garfield, well, the cat class that is uh, unique to Garfield, and it now duplicates that. So if there is a name uh, variable, that gets duplicated. If there's an age variable, that gets duplicated. If there's a tricks array list that uh, I've made, that gets copied over as well. So we can kind of start to build these out. Now, one of the things we have to kind of be careful about is because we're cloning, well, guess what? You know, the laws of nature may dictate that some classes cannot be cloned. So we actually have to use a try catch sometimes. And you can see what we'll be catching is actually clone not supported exception. Uh, and we have to do this just because we have to be careful with it. And you notice that one of the other things is that when I clone, it's actually going to be returning an object. So what that means is we do have to use our polymorphism skills, polymorphism skills to then in turn turn it into whatever we would want to clone. But it, as you can imagine, allows me to no longer worry about duplicating, or it allows me to duplicate an object without having to worry about it being the same spot in memory.